Everyone argues about the age of the pyramids and the Sphinx, but if you ignore public opinion and just look at the stone, the whole story becomes clearer. The Sphinx enclosure shows erosion that needs large amounts of water over long periods. Not a few storms, not a bit of salt, but real sustained water. Those deep, rounded channels form when water repeatedly flows down a wall. If you saw this anywhere else in the world, every geologist would say the same thing, it was shaped by water. And Egypt was a wet region long before the dynastic period. During the African humid period, the Sahara was green and stormy. If the Sphinx enclosure was exposed then, the erosion matches perfectly. The body of the Sphinx is far more eroded than the head, which sits in a harder layer of stone. Either the head was recarved later, or the original monument predates the dynastic Egyptians. One building event around 2500 BCE does not fit the geology. The repairs are another clue. The Egyptians repaired the Sphinx many times across thousands of years. You do not repair a brand new monument like that, especially not so soon after building it. The enclosure also sits lower than the surrounding plateau. It forms a natural basin. If you expose a carved basin during a wet climate, water collects and eats into the walls exactly as we see today. And remember, there is no inscription proving Khafra built it. That idea is based on statues found nearby. If you remove the assumption and look only at the stone, the picture shifts. So the most logical conclusion is simple. The Sphinx enclosure was exposed to a much wetter climate that ended long before 2500 BCE. The erosion fits the climate record, not the traditional story. It suggests the earliest carving of the Sphinx predates the Old Kingdom. That is not speculation, that is geology.